same like yesterday. You see, you go over a yeah. thousand now, huh? You go over two thousand millivolts in cases. This is a very, very good condition. Okay. If you go down, that's a plasma. John, put it a little, little bit there, so that I can see it. The system totally wires up in a different way. So it goes over. Mm -hmm. the, the plasma. If you look at those tubes, they are black. They are totally homogeneous. They are black. What are you going to do? You're going to if you keep them that way, mm -hmm. the, the one line in the back of the contact has no nanomaterial. So we put it back in the process again, back in here, uh, mm -hmm. to allow it to make a bigger layer. Because you still see some copper there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it means it's not fully done. My concern will be those uh, Mesh. meshes. See if we can get anything with it. But if you but I think it's standard steel too. Yeah, it's but they're usually galvanized. Yeah. You put it in there. I don't touch. Don't touch. touch. We just want to see the plasma condition. The, the variation. Don't know that we go changes. But that has that thing in it. So, is there much difference in the middle from 14 to 19? Mm -hmm. So, but if you put it on the wires, the wires now are perfectly, we can do it once more. Uh, we cut it once more, and then tomorrow we finish with it. What would be nice is just to crop the these. Zero. Mm. Oh, it's okay. It changes polarity. Mm -hmm. It discharges as a capacitor. You see this quite a lot. You see more with this with the with the caps, copper caps with the Coca-Cola bottle. Polarity changes quite very rapidly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. New polarity is discharging as a capacitor. So, what we're going to do, put this back on, not let you dry, and then. Um